Hey guys, welcome back to another Tekka tutorial and this one is going to be very short and very simple. Uh, before we start, I forgot something. Of course I did. So let's get a piston as well and that's just for um, demonstrating you guys. So we all know this problem. Oh, piston. Got some redstone, sandstone, button on it. Oh, connect that up properly. Up and down. But sometimes we just want to keep this up longer you know now there is a way already to do that in in minecraft itself is by just using a repeater setting it to a very high um, number and then it'll stay up a bit longer but there's not really a good solution for it so I came up with this all you need is an RS latch a timer and that's it so an RS latch to make that you use let me get rid of this for you um, some stone wires and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'll, I'll just hover over them very shortly so that you can see. Um, but you're going to have to look these up them yourself because they're kind of a lot of them. But they're all made with stone, cooked stone, that makes these wafers. And then you just add some redstone to it and, or a torch. So very simple to make. So that should get you started. Cool. Now the timer is pretty much the same. So again, the stone wafer, uh, the stone wire is just a little bit of redstone on the stone wafer, um, and then you get the anodes, which is just four redstone on top of three wafers, and and etc. So they're very simple to make. Just look up the recipe yourself. That'll make it a lot faster for you. For you. So let's start this. Now, first of all, we're gonna put a piston. I don't know. Put it here. Just far away it's, it's easy for you guys to see so then we have this redstone current coming in from this button and say we want to keep that piston up for I don't know what shall we say a full minute we, we can do that easy so the first we want to put down is the RS latch now if you don't know how this works it's basically one of the sides is on one of them is off so now that this side is off because there's no current on here this side oh this side is on, that side is off, and this side is on. Oh, like that. And I just switched it over myself. But there's always two on, two off. And that's what we're going to use. So let's uh, remove this. Again. And put it down again. Because I switched it to the other side. So it's off. Cool. Now, using this now it's still going to be the same you know so press the button it's going to go up it's going to go down again uh, sorry it's not going to go down at all because the switch is sort of pressed so it's going to stay in this position forever but we, we want it to go back down again so how do you get get it to go back down again now you give this side or this side doesn't matter a redstone pulse and that will make this thing switch over again so that these two sides won't have power now that sounds sort of complicated but it's really not and I'll show you how to do that. So you get your timer and you place it facing away from the thing you want to do. So that's always how I remember it. There we go. Now, how does that work? This timer is set on two seconds. So as soon as you power this wire here, this thing will switch. And at the moment, as you can see by the power grid here, it's powering the timer, so the timer is off. Because any time a, t uh, a timer has power applied to it, it turns off. But as soon as we flick this switch or button, this will give current for a while. It'll make this side active, these two, and these two will go off. Sorry, it'll make these two active, and this side, and I'll you know what I'll do? I'll do that. Just so you can see easier. So at the moment, this side is active and this side is active. And that's why the timer is off. When we press the button, this side will turn active and this will turn active. And it will turn this current off. Now when a timer doesn't have a current, it'll just start running like this. So we set that for two seconds. Or for anything you want. Now after two seconds, this thing is going to go around and it's going to apply a redstone current back into this switch. And when this switch gets another redstone current, it's going to switch over again so that these two um, 
will be off again and these two will be on again turning off the timer again so I'll just show you how it works so you can see these are now active and let's just put this to say 10 seconds so it's easy to see so these two are active and whilst this is going for 10 seconds doot, 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 as soon as it applies red zone power tunk, it'll switch over again so there you have it a 10 second piston or a 20 second piston or a 60 second piston you can do it for as long as you want and this is very useful in in many ways but let's just uh, let's just see 62 seconds does that work yep we'll come back to that so this design is the same one I used here for these doors to make it very compact and I'll show you that in the next episode. So you're gonna need this design for that. Uh, you don't need this wire, by the way. So it's still going, 60 seconds. Oh yeah, it's only been about 20 or so, I guess, because it has to go all the way around like that. So there you have it. This is very handy in many, many things that you're gonna make. Uh, so definitely keep keep an eye out of this. It's called a pulse lengthener. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode.